so good morning good afternoon good evening friends today we are going to discuss on advanced application support interview questions with its answers so this is just a part one i have already given you the application support interview questions separately uh, if you want the pdf format for these application support interview questions at free of cost then you can just mail me on complex at gmail.com but the condition is to subscribe the channel and click on bell icon so these interview questions are very hand-picked interview questions which are recently asked in application support interviews so watch this video till end so that you will get a flavor of the interview as well as you will get the correct interview questions and what to answer to that interview questions okay so let's get started so the first interview question describe a time when you identified and resolved a critical performance issues in your application what are the steps did you take to diagnose and fix that problem so this is most asked interview question that they will ask you uh, about the performance of the application okay so i have created the answer for you to resolve a critical performance issue i first gathered the performance metrics and user feedback to identify the symptoms i used application performance monitoring tools just like dynatrace to pinpoint the bottleneck so you can uh, tell any tool which you have used for application performance monitoring okay so i have given the example of dynatrace tool so i have added that okay uh, so example for the same is at a financial services firm we had a trading platform experiencing slow response time by analyzing the performance metrics i found that certain database queries were taking too long i optimized the sql queries and added necessary indexes which reduced the response time by 50 percent so most of the time if the performance issue will come then you can add the indexing partitioning these kind of techniques which are database techniques okay so that is about the first interview question second interview question how do you manage and prioritize multiple high severity incidents that occur simultaneously uh, you might have experienced few days back the windows issue right so for the microsoft issue the system has got restarted for all over the world so there might be a situation like that, like that where you will get multiple high priority high severity incidents so what will you do uh, so answer i have created i use the impact and urgency matrix for itl framework to prioritize the incidents so impact and urgency matrix is very very important communication st with stakeholder is crucial to understand the business priorities example for the same during a critical sell event at e-commerce company both the payment system and inventory management system failed i prioritized the payment system issue because it directly impacted the revenue so you require to check the business impact when there are multiple high priority high severity issues okay then I prioritized the payment system issue because it directly impacted the revenue. I coordinated with my team to handle the inventory system issue concurrently, ensuring both problems were resolved swiftly. Okay. Third interview question Can you explain process of conducting root cause analysis when recurring issues are reported? So, uh, as a support engineer, application support engineer, root cause analysis or RCA is very, very important thing. So there might be chances like uh, you you are getting the issues uh, which are recurring issues. So what will you do in that situation? So I start by gathering all relevant data and logs from the incidents. Then I use method like five eyes or fishbone diagrams to trace back the root cause. Example, uh, at the uh, telecommunication company, we had frequent network outages. By conducting a root cause analysis, I discovered that specific router firm, uh, firmware was faulty we coordinated with the vendor for firmware upgrade and we have resolved that issue so 
when root cause analysis comes into the picture you require to involve the multiple teams like if that issue is related to development then you require to involve the development team that issue is related to any other vendors kind of stuff just like that firmware was uh, not working or was faulty then you require to connect to your vendors so multiple team communication is key over here so we'll move towards the next interview question what strategies have you used to automate routine application support tasks what strategies you use to automate routine application support tasks can you provide the example of successful automation project so automation is very important and key factor nowadays you might have seen nowadays all all systems are automated or most of the systems are uh, using the ai okay so that is very important so first you require to identify the repetitive task which can be automated second you require to finalize the scripting language like if that automation can be done using python or any other automation tools okay to create that scripts i have given you one example uh, the logistics company we have we faced regular server outages I developed Python scripts to automatically restart the servers and notify team via mail. This automation reduced the downtime significantly and improved overall efficiency. So, as a support engineer, you require to analyze multiple scenarios and you require to check what improvement you can done from your side. Next is how do you ensure the effective communication with non-technical stakeholders uh, during major incident? so major incident is one of the type of incident you might know that has very very high business impact okay so uh, answer for the same i provide a clear jargon free updates focusing on the impact and steps being taken to resolve the issues these are understandable like uh, the, the, these uh, steps will have to be in understandable language with the stakeholders okay Regular updates are crucial to maintain the transparency with all the stakeholders. Uh, so uh, let me give you one example. During a critical application outages at healthcare provider, I communicated with non-technical stakeholders by explaining the issues impact on the patient records and outlining our resolution steps. Regular updates reassured them and maintained the trust between you and your stakeholders. So that trust factor is very, very important when you are working as an application support engineer. Sixth interview question, describe your experience with deploying and managing applications in cloud environment. What challenges did you face? How did you overcome? So cloud, nowadays everything is in cloud. So, uh, so the issue which has arised few days back for Windows uh, is because of the Azure cloud. Okay. So, Cloud environment and setup is very, very important and you require to gain the cloud knowledge as an application support engineer. Answer for the same, I have experience with AWS and Azure for deploying and managing the applications. Challenges included managing the costs and ensuring the security. Example for the same, at a SaaS based company or software as a service based company, we migrated our application to AWS. We faced the challenges with cost management due to over provisioned resources. By implementing auto scaling and right sizing our instances, we optimize the cost while maintaining the performance. Why we are going for the clouds? Because of cost. Cost is the key thing. So if you are using a physical server, the cost is very much higher than the cloud, right? That's why we are going for the cloud. So you can create your own example or you can give that directly this example. It will work in the interviews. Next interview question, how do you stay updated with latest technology trends and incorporate them into the your work? Answer for the same, I attend the industry conferences, participated in, uh, participate in webinars and follow the technology blocks. I also engage in continuous learning 
through certifications and online courses. Example for the same, after attending a conference on containerization, I proposed and laid a project to containerize our application using Docker and Kubernetes. This improved our deployment speed and scalability. So you can give your own example. So this thing I have done while I was working as an application support engineer. So you can create your own example. Example will be any any yeah, any example, uh, whatever you wanted to give or whatever improvement you have made. Okay. Next is, can you provide an example and uh, of how you improved the reliability or availability of an application? That is also key task for application performance, uh, application support engineer to make sure that your application have high reliability and availability. I focus on eliminating single point of failure and implementing the redundancy. Example for the same, at a financial institution, our application had frequent downtimes due to single point of failure in our database. I implemented a high availability cluster with failover capabilities, which improved our overtime from our uptime from 95% to 99.9%. So here the interviewer may ask you the question. Are you a database administrator or application support engineer? At that time, you require to give the answer like, I have utilized the different database teams and database management, uh, database engineers to resolve that issue. Okay, so this is not the task for application support engineer. You are responsible to highlight that issue to the particular team like databases team or application team or development team. Okay. Ninth interview question, what monitoring and alerting tools you have used in your previous roles? How did we you configure them to improve the application support? Example, uh, answer for the same. I have used tools like Nagios. That is, I think IBM Nagios tools, Splunk, Grafana. I configure these tools to provide real time monitoring and set up the alerts for critical thresholds. The alert setup is a very, very important over here. Example for the same, at online streaming company, I set up a monitoring dashboards in Grafana and integrated alerts with Slack. This proactive monitoring allows us to detect and resolve the issues before they affected users, significantly improving our service reliability. It will also improve the service reliability. Next interview question, describe a time when you had a troubleshoot complex, had to troubleshoot a complex issue involving multiple systems or technologies. How did you approach the problem and what was outcome? I take a systematic approach to isolate the issue, working across different teams to gather information and identify root cause. Example for the same, in an insurance company, a critical application was failing intermittently impacting multiple departments by analyzing the logs and coordinating with network database and application teams this coordination is very very important you might have to learn how to coordinate with multiple teams i identified a network configuration issue that was causing packet loss we reconfigured the network settings which resolved the issue and restored the normal operations okay so here interview will not ask you the question like how did you resolve that? But he may ask you the question, which team you take, took the support to resolve this issue? Okay. 11th interview question, what strategies do you use for problem management and root cause analysis? I follow the systematic approach to problem management by documenting incidents, analyzing trends, and conducting root cause analysis using tools like RCA diagrams and 5i techniques. At a telecommunication company, we had recurring network outages. By performing root cause analysis, we identified a faulty firm firmware on routers and coordinated with the vendor for firmware update, which resolves the issue permanently. Simple. What is root cause analysis? Just like that, this is a cross question. What strategies do you use for problem management and root cause analysis? I follow systematic approach of problem management by documenting incident where you uh, the, the interviewer might ask you the question where you document the incident 
you your answer will be the jira or rally or any issue management tool analyzing trends how do you analyze the trends so with uh, three months six months one yearly report you will get to know which are the recurring issues okay and conducting the root cause analysis using tools like rca diagrams rca diagrams and 5y techniques at a telecommunication company we had the network outages issue you can give the same example the firmware one okay you can just prepare that example as it is and give that to your interviewer uh, give the answer in your interviews okay so these are 12 most important interview questions asked for application support this is just a series one this is just a start I would like to give you hundreds of interview questions for application support uh, so that uh, you will not face any difficulty in application support interviews. Hope you like this video. If you want PDF interview questions for application support at free of cost, please subscribe the channel. Send me mail on complexscale at gmail.com which you can see on the screen right now. Hope you like these questions. Thanks for watching this video till end. Stay tuned. Cheers.